for the lattice top, you roll out your dough, similar to your bottom. It doesn't need to be as long of an overhang. And what you're looking for are strips. Depending on how intricate your lattice is, I'm going to go for a simpler one because, you know, technically I'm on vacation, so I shouldn't even be baking. <laughs> but here I am baking three pies. So, um, But you can make some really pretty intricate lattices by going really, really small with your strips and making a very intricate weave. I'm going to keep things pretty basic. So what you're going to do, and if I were home, I would have a ruler. Um, I would be a lot more meticulous. I don't have that here at the, the lake house, so I'm going to have to eyeball this. You're looking for 10 strips, 10 to 12. Um, you want even numbers. Um, and you're going to cut straight down as even as possible. about an inch wide I'm going for. And you want a really sharp knife and sometimes it might help to actually take your knife and dunk it in some flour. Three, four, oh that was a little uneven but we'll work with it. Five, Five should get you to the middle. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. So we have extra. We have an extra strip. And that's fine, because in case you need, in case something breaks, you need to fix anything, um, it's also a good idea to kind of even out your ends, just to make things pretty. Let's see how I evened out that end? I'm going to even out this end right here, in case I want to use it. Now, as you can see, the dough sticking all over the place. That's not going to be good for you when you start doing your bit with your weave. So what I do at this point is, while the bottom crust is resting, I'm going to have this rest in the fridge too and chill it a little bit so that when I actually put this together, it's going to be easy and nothing's going to stick. Also, I'm going to find a baking sheet, which hopefully is in this cottage somewhere. I'm going to put a baking sheet under here and have this rest on the baking sheet in the fridge. You're probably wondering, how am I going to get this in the fridge? Use a baking sheet, use something flat, cutting board even, uh, to bring into the fridge. So this is going to chill. Here in this specific segment, I'm going to show you how to assemble a lattice high top. Some people are a little afraid of it. It looks a little complicated. It actually isn't. Um, in the previous video, I showed you how to roll out some dough and cut strips. It's up to you what kind of lattice you want. A general tradition lattice is about an inch thick. Um, I've seen some great Martha Stewart pie tops where actually she goes with really, really like skinny, like quarter inch, half inch, and really makes a nice tight lattice that's very decorative. Um, if you're feeling ambitious, that's great. We're going traditional. So as you can see here, you've got long pieces and you've got short pieces. You're going to use the long pieces for the center. You're going to use the shorter pieces for the ends. So we're going to start with our two longest pieces. And I chilled this. Once I cut it, I chilled it. So it's kind of stiff. And I'm going to go and make a cross. One. Don't worry about your overhangs yet. Two. Now decide which way you're going to go. I'm going to go this way. So you're going to get your two medium-sized pieces. Now here, at the center, we're over. We need to go under. Bring this over, bring this down, bring this back. Now go to another medium piece on the other side. But we, okay. Bring this over, bring this under, bring this back. Now we're going to continue this way. We're over. 
right? So now we need to go over this way. So you're going to get another medium piece, because now we're going to sit that strip on top. So you have an ebb and a flow on top, under, on top, under. So grab a little guy, finish it off under. If you want to scoot things over to make things fit nice, which I do. Don't cinch anything yet. Leave it all loose. Same here. We're over on this strip. Come over here. I'm going to go over it now. You need a tiny guy. Pull this up. Now, we're going to go this way. So, take a look at where you are. If we're over here, that means this needs to go over. So you're going to actually, every other piece, you're going to bend back. See how that works? Bring it back. Same with this side, right? So you're over here. Every other strip, you bend back. Lay a piece on there. Bend them back. That's how you're getting your basket weave. Now you've got two ends. I've got one short piece. Let's see if I can cut it in half and let it be our end pieces. I went a little crazy on the... Um, this dough is very forgiving. So if you find yourself short, just work with it. Okay. So here we're over. So we have to be under. Same here, here we're over, we got to be under. Bring them back. There's your basket weave. Now, all this overhang, you're going to trim up with some scissors or a knife. I am you could do this too if you don't feel like being fussy. And this is a great Cathlon pan that even though it has a ledge here for um, crimping crust. So I'm just going to, whoops, do this gently. Don't do what I just did. Kind of clean up the edge because you don't want the crust too thick. So clean up your overhangs. And then lift up your edges and crimp. Crimp in or out. Sometimes I go out and under. Today I feel like crimping in. So you're going to bend this. Don't worry if it's messy. Just get things closed up. We'll clean it up in a sec. You're just getting things glued up and messy, yes. So, go around one more time with your thumb 
and this Kaflan pan helps with that ledge to get a nice clean crust. Check it out. This is a great pan. I love this Kaflan pie pan. And I swear to God, Kaflan did not pay me to say that. Okay, now let's make it even prettier. And this is where I come in and kind of hand crimp. We can do lots of pretty edges. That's how you make a lattice. It's not that hard. Um, you can top this off with an egg wash, with some sprinkled sugar or cream or milk with some sprinkled sugar. I'm going to probably do an egg wash and get it in the oven at 425 for about an hour. Thank you, and uh, we'll show you the finished product. So we baked our peach lattice pie for 45 minutes at 425, and if you need extra details on actually baking the perfect pie crust, go to um, my YouTube channel and check out how to bake the perfect pie crust. Um, I go in depth on um, getting that perfect golden crust and how to set up your oven for a perfect pie. But we are going to enjoy our sunset cruise, our annual peach pie cruise we do every year. We wait every year. So welcome aboard, and we're going to enjoy some pie. Come again. Bye-bye. Our annual pie cruise. <laughs>